So Hannah fulfills her vow in 1 Samuel 1 and 24. Now, when she had weaned him, so she got his fulfilled her promise, and now the baby has been weaned. He's no longer breastfeeding. She took him up with her with three bulls, one ephah of flour and a skin of wine and brought him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And the child was young. Amen. So she fulfilled the vow that she had made. But what we were talking about with this one is the importance of taking our bitterness to the Lord. She took it to the Lord. She cried out to him. She made her vow to him and God fulfilled the promise and gave her a child. Amen. And then she fulfilled the vow. She endured because she didn't allow the bitterness to overtake her. She overtook it by taking it to the cross, by taking it to the feet of Jesus. She overcame the bitterness. She overcame what was trying to take her out, which was trying to keep her from the promise. And she laid it at the feet of Jesus so he could be wiped out and so she could go forth restored healed amen abiding in the vine Hannah is an excellent example of how we can take our emotions our feelings to the feet of Jesus and say heal my heart Lord help me with this Lord and cry out to God you don't have to make a vow again vows are very serious but you can just say, Lord, help me with this problem. I desire a child, Father God. Lord, you said in your word that the fruit of the womb is blessed. And you pray over your body. You cry out to the Lord and see God fulfill it in his timing. Amen.